My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. <laughs> Hi everyone, Glamma here. Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamma, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. So today we are going to be using yarn a 3.50 millimeter hook, a row counter, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. Okay, so go and get all your supplies and I will meet you right back here. Oh, I almost forgot to say you'll also be needing either four buttons or four beads or four of something that you can sew onto your mask um, to um, put the ear straps on with, okay? So this is how I used my pearls that I have. This was an old bracelet that broke, and so I've saved the pearls. I knew they would come in handy one day, and they have. So what I did is I um, put the strap on this one and then buttoned it on to this one. And so either four buttons or four pearls or four, four of whatever that you have that you want to use for your mask, okay? I am using this baby weight yarn in the color blue and you don't have to use baby weight yarn this just happens to be what I picked up when I was doing my little test mask and I ended up just going to town on it and finishing it without even thinking about switching back to regular Red Heart Super Saver yarn so if you want go ahead and use baby weight yarn and the size of hook that I mentioned at least that's the hook I'm using if you don't want to figure out if this mask is big enough or small enough for the person you're making it for, you can always go up or down in size of the hook. Um, if you end up using Red Heart Super Saver yarn, just go ahead and use the hook size that is mentioned on the label of the yarn, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you my crazy notes. Everyone's always asking me if I have written patterns and the answer is no I don't I'm not really writing patterns I do YouTube videos and that's about it but these are my crazy notes that I am going to be following so yeah my notes here are for an adult size and for a um, child size so that's why I've got some crazy notes here so I hope I can read them okay so let's just mention the elephant in the room which is me <laughs> and crocheting because I haven't made a crochet video in such a long time so yeah this is very kind of nerve-wracking for me it's been so long since I've actually made a video so please bear with me if I um, use the wrong lingo um, and if I say to do something but yet my hands do something different go with what my hands are doing <laughs> Because sometimes I notice in my videos that I'll say something, but I, I said the wrong thing. So go ahead and follow what my hands are doing, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my hook, and I've got my yarn. And for row one, I'm going to go ahead and click row one, okay? And we are going to chain 14, okay? So let's get started with a slip knot. If you don't know how to make a slip knot, I've got um, basic tutorials on this channel that you can go look for that teaches you how to do all of that. Okay, so we are going to chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, okay? So now we are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. There's the yarn on the hook, there's the first chain from the hook, and there's the second one. We are going to go into the first one. And you can either grab just that yarn right there or you can grab the whole thing if you want to make it a little sturdier um, I think I'm just gonna grab 
this part right here. Insert our hook, yarn over, bring that loop up. Now we have two loops, yarn over, go through two. We're going to do that all the way till we get to the end. Okay. So meet me back here when you get to the end of the row. Okay, so I'm almost at the end. I thought I'd come back with you for anyone that is new. When I was new, I would get confused, which was the last um, chain of the row. So I have, let me see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and you don't stop there. There's the last one right there, right before that slip knot and 13. So we started with 14 chains and we skipped that first chain right after the hook and that was for the height of our single crochet. So you should have 13 single crochets, okay? All right, let's click on to row two. Okay, so for row two, we are going to chain one, turn our work around, and we are going to go right into that very first single crochet. Okay, we're going to grab both sides of the V right there. And we're going to do single crochets. One. Two. Three. We're going to do this until we get to the sixth chain. four, five, and six. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to make an increase into the seventh chain. Okay, so what that means is we're going to put two single crochets in there. Okay, so let's put one and a second one. And now we are going to single crochet into the remaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Whoops, can't see past the camera. Okay, very last one, very important not to forget that very last one. Sometimes it doesn't look like a stitch, but it is. So there we are. That is the end of row two. And do you see that little bump right there? That is our increase, okay? So now we're going to click over to row three, okay? Make a chain. Okay, so we made our extra chain. We're going to turn our work over and we're going to repeat the exact same thing that we did in row two. We're going to do that for rows three through 20. I'll meet you back here at the end of row 20. Okay, we're getting to the end here. We're almost there. So at the beginning, you saw that I went into that very first stitch. If you don't have 32 single crochets by the end of row 20 you either didn't go into the very first stitch or you didn't go into the very last stitch. That's a very common mistake with beginners but you see there's one more stitch. Here's our very last one. So that is row 20. Chain one, turn your work around and now we're gonna click over to row 21. Okay so at first, it might not have made sense to you about crocheting six and then in the seventh one doing two and then the remaining just single crochets and then turning it around and doing the same thing. But now you see what we have going here. So you see it made this cool pattern right there, which is going to make our mask fit perfectly. Okay, so row 21, we are going 
to single crochet on all the stitches, no increases for this row whatsoever, okay? So we are going to go right into that very first stitch, just like we've been doing, and make our single crochet and go all the way across till we get to the end of the row, okay? No increases whatsoever, so you don't have to count anything from rows 21 through 26. Okay, so I'll meet you back here at the end of row 26. Right there, chain one, turn my work around, and now we are on row 27. So row 27 is going to be the start of our decrease rows. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into that very first stitch right there. We're going to do single crochets until we get to the sixth stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And so now for decrease rows, we are not going to do what we did in the increase rows and put two into the seventh stitch. We're going to actually skip the seventh stitch, okay? Yes, you could make a decrease by um, doing it the regular decrease way, but we are doing this the super, super easy, simple way for beginners. So we single crochet into the first six stitches. We're gonna skip the seventh and we're going to single crochet into the eighth and all the rest of the stitches till the end of the row. And that is pretty much it. Getting there. Don't forget to go into the very first stitch of each row and the very last stitch of each row or else you won't have the right number of stitches to make your mask like the one I'm making and your work will come out in an odd shape. Okay, so there's the very last one. Okay. And then you chain one, turn your work around, do your row clicker, if you have one. So we are on row 28. So for rows 28 um, through 45, we are going to repeat what we just did in row 27, okay? We're going to single crochet into that very first stitch and the next six stitches or the first six stitches and then the seventh stitch we're going to skip and then we're going to single crochet into the eighth and all the remaining ones. Then you're going to turn your work around, do the same thing until you get to row 45. At the end of row 45, you should have what we started with. 13 stitches, okay? So we're going from small to big, and now we're going to small again, okay? So I will see you at the end of row 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stitches. And then we're going to chain one, turn our work around, and we're going to click our row counter row 46. Okay, and this will be the final row for the width of our mask. Okay, so go into the very first stitch and make a single crochet all the way across till we get to the end. Okay. Okay, so here's our very last one. Chain one. And that completes our mask, the face portion of our mask. So there it is. Very cool, right guys? All right, so that is what that is looking like. Nice. And it should fit perfectly. Now what I'm going to show you next um, is optional. Okay, so here's the my template or my test mask. 
Um, and so this one has wire. I don't know if you can see the wire in there. See how you can see it kind of shine. You can get yourself some wire. Let me see if I have some, some wire left over in here that I can show you kind of what I'm talking about. And this isn't the type of wire that I would have normally wanted to use. This is soldering wire um, that I use for soldering. Um, but this is what I had on hand. So this is what I used. But any type of wire, even if it's thicker or a little thinner, if you wanted to do this, what you can do is what I did is I just went ahead and poked through one of these. Um, I poked the wire up through it. And then I just went like this and I just wrapped it around like so. Maybe I should just do it. Show you guys how to do it. But if you're a beginner and you don't want to do this, by all means, don't do it. Okay, so I guess I decided to go ahead and do it for anyone that wants to try this. Because I think it is safer to do it this way. That way your mask fits more snugly around your nose. Um, the bridge of your nose area and I think yeah I think I'll go ahead and do this for those of y'all that are beginners that don't want to do it like this by all means you don't have to um, just do what is easiest for you or for those of y'all that don't have wire you know you can skip this part and if you want to skip the wire I would still probably single crochet on the top of your mask um, to make it a little sturdier and more long-lasting and to give it a better finished look. Okay, so where I am going to put the stitches on the side, since we don't have actual stitches, is I am going to go, um, you see how you've got, um, you've got these divots here, you've got one there, one there, one there, one there. I'm gonna do those areas right there and put single crochets in, okay? So I chained one already when I completed row um, 46, chained one. So now I'm just going to go into that very first divot right there and I'm going to single crochet. So there's one and now right there, two, three, four, five, six, and then right there in the seventh area, the seventh stitch, or that I'm calling the seventh stitch, is where I included the wire, see? And I'm going to go in there. Okay, and I'm just going to incorporate the wire as I go along, see? There's the wire just going to incorporate it into my single crochets. I'm going to do that all the way across. All right, so just do that all the way across. See, there's the wire. Here's what it's looking like in the back. Can't really see it at all. But yeah, you can see that it's pliable. See, it's gonna conform to your nose a lot better. All right, so just do that all the way across. I'll meet you when I get closer to this end, okay? Cut the wire. Okay, so we're done with the roll of wire. So now let me find my stitch again. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, about there. I'm going to poke the wire in through there. Come on up. Oops, I'm trying to stay in shot. Okay, so I'm going to poke that up. And let me see if I can just wrap this around the wire. That's probably good enough. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off, cut the excess off. 
Okay, snug that down and then continue making single crochets, incorporating that wire with it, okay? All right, so let's just continue till the end. Now let's take a look at what we've got there. So this is from the front. Here it is from the back. You can barely see the wire if you can see it at all. See? There it is. And it'll conform to your nose nicely, see? So let's say that's your nose. And look at you can put it up along the bridge of your nose, down your cheek bone area, and there it is. Like I said, that is optional if you want to do that or you don't have to. So now rather than cutting the yarn um, and going to this side and doing single crochets, I'm going to just put slip stitches on this side. Just going to slip stitch across, okay? get to the bottom side of the mask. One more to go. And we're at the end. And there is the tail that we started with. And I'm going to incorporate that on this side, the bottom side of my mask as I do single crochets across there, okay? All right. So I'm going to chain one since we are single crocheting. All right. So let's go. I don't think I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to incorporate that tail like I did the wire and I'm just going to go through there and single crochet that into place so that I don't have to weave it in later with my tapestry needle. Okay, so there's one there. Now we're going to go between the row. Put a single crochet now in the middle of the row and just do this all the way till you get to the other end of the bottom of the mask. At this point, you've already incorporated the tail enough so you can just trim it right there. Let's go ahead and do that. that tail now. It's incorporated enough and it's not going to unravel at that point. All right, so go ahead and just finish um, single crocheting all the way along here. So our next one would be right there between the row and then in the row and then between the row, in the row, between the row, and so on. I'll meet you at the end. Now, you know what, I'm going to go into here as well. Make a slip stitch, chain one, and then we can cut our work. Let me see, yep. Leave a long enough tail that you can weave it in. Okay, so we're done with the mask portion. Snug that down. And now you can just get your tapestry needle and weave this in. And we are done. So there it is. There's our finished mask. And now we are going to get our buttons or our pearls or whatever you have. And remember where the top of the mask is. There's the wire. So you can get your four buttons or your four pearls. And you can sew one up here and you can sew one down here okay like so do that on this side and then do that over here on the other side so you need four buttons or four pearls or four diamonds or whatever you are using okay so there is that portion of our mask i will meet you back here when you have finished sewing your four buttons or your four decorative whatever's right there okay all right, so that's what it looks like. Very cool, right? There it is in half. 
I love the detail of where we decreased and increased. Awesome. All right, I'll meet you back here when you've got your button sewn on and then we will start on the ear straps, okay? Okay, so I have mine sewn on and I just used white thread and here you can see that I just went in and out with my pearls and I'm going to use those as buttons and now we're going to start on the strap. I've already made one strap for it right here. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that, but you see how it just buttons on? So yeah. So we are going to make this ear strap right now, okay? And I'm going to show you how I made this one to fit me. You can make yours longer if you want or shorter. Um, I think I use chains in increments of two. So okay, let's go ahead and make the other strap. But yeah, it's gonna be as super easy as that, okay? Okay, so I've got this one. Now I need to go make the second one on camera for you guys to see. All right, let's do it. I'm going to make a slip stitch, just like we did at the beginning of our mask. I just wrap the yarn around my two fingers, drop the yarn, Grab it with the hook between the loop, snug it down a bit, and I'm going to chain 32. Like I said, you can make your chain as long or as short as you want it, but this is what I am doing, 32 chains, okay? I'll meet you back when I've got 32. I wanted to come back and show you one way that I incorporate my, you know, this tail. At the end I want to show you a way that you can incorporate it if you want to um, rather than just starting to chain and holding on to the tail what you can do is you can bring the tail up with the working yarn and hold on to that slip knot and then start chaining one two whoops excuse me two three four, five, and then you can just trim that off once it runs out. And that's a little trick that I do so that I don't have little ends that I have to weave in at the end. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. You can do it the first way or the second way. It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna meet you back here when I have my 32. Okay, so I have my 32 chains and now we've got our loop on the hook and then we're going to count down five single crochets from the hook so one two three four five i'm going to go into there but i'm not just grabbing that loop i'm grabbing you see how this yarn goes into there i'm grabbing that as well you don't have to if you don't want to but that's what i'm doing i'm pulling the yarn through and I'm going to slip stitch, okay? And that is going to be the first loop where I put that through my little pearl or my button. And so this ear strap is going to be adjustable because I'm going to make loops all along so that you can adjust this ear strap to, your, to the size that you need it, okay? Now I'm gonna chain two, one, Oops, one, two, and now I'm going to skip two stitches, okay? One, two, and then I'm going to go into the next one. Slip stitch, chain two, one, two, skip two, one, two, go into the next. Slip stitch, chain two, one, two, skip two, one, two, go into the next. And so you're making basically buttonholes. One, two, and just do that all the way down till you get to the end, okay? Okay, so I am at the end here, and if you 
did it exactly like I did and counted 32 chains and then started from the fifth chain from the hook and did exactly what I said, you should end up right at the ending chain right here, okay? So I just chain two, I'm gonna skip one, two, I'm gonna go into the last one, slip stitch, oops, I got out of shot and that's it. Now I'm gonna chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn so that I can incorporate that. So even though I used the second method of the chain where I hid the first tail, I still have a tail at the end, but at least you don't have to deal with two tails um, to weave in. You don't have to deal with two tails on this side, okay? So now you can go ahead and get your tapestry needle and weave that in if you'd like. Okay, so I grabbed my mask and I'm going to attach the ear loop or ear strap. So just the very first loop that you made, just bring it around the button and do the same thing with the very last loop. There it is. I want to show you that if this ear loop is not small enough, then that's why we made all these other buttonholes. You can, instead of using the last one, if you're using it for a smaller person, you can button it through here. And yes, you have this excess, but let's say that this is the way you want it. You can hang something decorative from here. You can make this into a crochet flower so that that would be cute hanging down. Or you can just tuck it under like that, okay? So you can make it smaller. So this is a, an adjustable ear strap for your mask, okay? If you want it bigger than this, then of course, like I said, you can chain more than 32 and chain as many as you want. All right, guys, and there's our mask, guys. How cute is that? That is so super easy. We've got a wire on top, which is optional. And we've got single crochets all around to give it more form. And that is it, guys. What do you think of this gorgeous mask? I love it. <laughs> and um, don't forget, though, you don't stop here. You have to make a lining for the inside of the mask. So I might make a video on that later. Hopefully I'll get to it. Um, but that is definitely what I'm going to do for my masks. And the next mask that I make is probably going to be a child size mask. I've already made an identical one for Petrova. See, this one is for Petrova. Um, I don't think I put a wire on hers. It fits her perfectly. So this is Petrova's right here. And this one will be Finesse's, and then I'll make myself one too. So we've got identical, all three of us will have identical masks. So this Petrova is four years old, and like I said, it fits her perfectly. So this would fit probably between a four, six, seven, eight year old, and it fits nicely. Okay, so my next tutorial might be the lining or it might be the kids mask and then how to make a lining but anyway i sure hope you enjoyed this face mask tutorial it's a really sad situation that we even have to make a video to make masks but it is what it is and that is where the world is right now um so hopefully now that the vaccines are out hopefully we get our vaccines and all this can go away we can have some sort of normalcy so even though I'm late jumping on the crochet mask bandwagon I've got a feeling we're gonna be needing these in the future for something else whether it's another epidemic or next winter when there's another variant of the COVID um, pandemic again hopefully not the first mask um, pattern that I made I wasn't happy with so I racked my brain until I was able to come up with something that I was satisfied with and that would be easy enough to teach easy enough to follow and this is what I came up with so I sure hope you enjoyed this video and uh, until next time don't forget how much I love you don't forget to love yourself and everyone you come in contact with remember wear your masks 
and social distance as much as possible. All right, guys, don't forget how much I love you. Bye. Mwah. Besitos. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamos channel. channel.